from Hazrat Aisha School. Today I am going to tell you about Education 4.0. How the education has been changed from the past to the future. Now we are, we are in 2023. I am going to explain you the education, the changes in the education from 1990s to the 2023. Now, education first, give, first I want to give a brief introduction about Education 4.0. What is meant by that? Preparing for the future with digital native kids. We have the kids, we have to prepare for the future. Like they have to face, face the challenges to face the technology, highest technology in the world. Let us go. Modes of education. The first mode is education 1.0. Like we can consider these kids as in 1980s like that. And the second phase from the education 2.0, 3.0 like that as follows. First, what is meant what is there in education 1.0? The teacher used to the they were teacher centered learning, centered learning and cloud memorization. Like we have the student has to learn by the fear of the teacher that she or he will beat me whether I will not learn that topic like that. And the road memorization. Like, like here we can see clearly the teacher explained and we have to repeat some, several times the, and we can easily remember that that is that is a road memorization and comes to education 2.0 
students are using laptop at the early age they are using they are comfortable to use that technology like ai and computers all those things. but in the past we were we take a lot of time to use that when, when i was in sixth class i was new to the computer i don't know what is a computer what is a monitor what is a cpu but now in the level of first class the student know what is a computer how how should we use it how should we create a ppt that much level of your changes in the technology has been come and the exams was not a written test it was online now we are facing j mains exams need exams are most all of those exams are going online next part what is digital native kids Digital native kids refers to an individual who has grown up in a world where digital technology such as computers, the internet, and mobile devices is a per pervasive part in our daily life. You may know what is a pervasive. It is a part that in our daily life we use to eat breakfast, lunch. It has been habituated like that. But like that in digital native kids, it is a part. They have to be habituated with the digital, the new technology. Digital native kids. From the early age, they are using. They are free to use the computers, internet, and like that, and the mobile devices in their every part of the daily life. Digital native is the first generation of an individual who have grown up grown up in a digital environment and are comfortable using technologies from an early age. Unlike previous generations, like we were. these children are expo exposed to the technologies and internet to various forms of education technology or actually from birth from the birth itself they are using they are facing they are using the computers in them like you have the children in our home they use they start if they want to they ask me they ask us to give work in the phone they may give they may see videos but some students some children are like that. what is in the phone how it is why it is like critical thinking in there how it is how they want to search in the phone from the early age they are using the technology with freely then imagine how when they come to our age how the world will be like we have some images Digital lives have always been changing as society advances with time, and there is always an ongoing debate on which is better, traditional education or modern teaching methods. In traditional methods of education, the teacher is viewed as the primary source of knowledge. Students are asked to pay attention and take notes as the teacher lectures. This approach may work well for some subjects, but it might not be able to meet all students' diverse learning needs. Indian schooling systems have realized the power of changing times and started allocating modern teaching in its institution to keep up with societal needs. Modern education makes classes more engaging and interactive for students by utilizing an array of technologies, internet access, and projected presentations. It increases the constants of the conventional approach to learning and experimenting with technology. But we can't undervalue the effectiveness of textbooks and theoretical learning that helps students increase the value of learning and practice. Therefore, schools, the concept of crossover learning is popular in India, which is a blend of both formal and informal teaching. From tier one cities to villages, schools have both smart classes next to blackboards, where students see visuals on subjects like history, science, geography. and understand the concept in detail to professors this new teaching system navigates successfully the changing landscape of education and advances effective teaching methods with only one goal in mind emphasis on students 